a rainy last couple days we've been experiencing, but for our temperatures, we're sitting at 60 degrees with those winds out of the east at 8 miles an hour. Still with that high humidity now at 90% after we're still experiencing some scattered showers in the tri-state area, but for Grand Forks, you're sitting in those 50s at 59 degrees with those winds out of the evening in those 50s, but we also have some other areas like in Brainerd, Aberdeen, and even Mobridge still in those 60s. But with those temperatures, we're still seeing some slightly breezy winds in some areas. However, it's continued to diminish just not that long ago. We had those winds gusting up to 15 miles an hour in Langdon. But for most of us, we're seeing those calm winds, especially in throughout that Lakes Country area with Wadena with those calm winds. Same with Alexandria Assistant and even over in Jamestown. But like I said, we're still tracking some scattered showers near that Bemidji area through Beltrami County, Hubbard, and even into Becker County. But over the next couple hours, these showers will continue to move up into areas of north central part of Minnesota because of that low pressure system still pushing through the valley. Now, by tomorrow morning, we're going to start to see some fog develop in areas of North Dakota and even into Lakes Country, causing that low visibility for your morning commute. While some areas in central part of Minnesota, near Beltrami County, and even down through Wadena area, can still experience some scattered showers, but tomorrow the main issue is going to be that fog causing that low visibility. But by lunchtime, temperatures are already dipping or rising into those 60s with no more fog in sight. But some of us still might have a few chances of a few sprinkles or two with some slightly calmer winds after a breezy day we saw today with temperatures only getting into those 60s for your morning or your afternoon temperatures. But for tomorrow morning, Temperatures are going to stay in those 50s. A few of us will have some peaks at some clear skies in the afternoon with temperatures still getting into those 60s. Some of us are barely making it out of those low 60s, but we also get a break on Tuesday and Wednesday from those rain showers. Now things do pick back up as we head into the weekend, but otherwise for your proceed three day farming forecast, we're going to continue to have those temperatures stay in those 70s at least for the next 11 and seven days. We do have more breezier conditions on Thursday and Friday with more showers arriving. Like I said, as we head into the weekend with some chances of some scattered thunderstorms on Sunday as we continue throughout the first week of October. But once again, fall is here. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s. We had a fall, the first day of fall being yesterday. But guys, fall is just wanting to stick around for October. I'm glad that we finally hit the first official day of fall. Yes. And now I won't be judged for pumpkin spice things and it's orange colors. Once September starts, no one can make fun of you. It's I fair think game that's once I think that it's kind in. of picky depending on who you are. But with temperature like that, it's I think perfect. I can get away with it now. Yes. Thanks, Shelby.